Do an opening statement, and we'll take whatever questions you guys have. Uh, Crossroads is a great, great event. It's, uh, put Indiana College basketball on that stage uh, nationally, and you should get games like that. And uh, you know, obviously, we'd rather end on the other side of it. Uh, when the shot goes in uh, for us, and we've had those uh, tonight. The shot went in for them, so I think it was a heck of a heck of, heck of a basketball game to watch. I'm sure. Hopefully a ton of people tuned in, and, and our guys have a lot of fight in them. I think it's two really good teams, two really good programs competing. Somebody's got to win. Uh, somebody's got to lose. Unfortunately, tonight we're on the other side. Questions? I think we've got a microphone here. Laval, they, they were really scuffling there at the end of the final position. Did you feel with about a second or two left that you had them where you wanted them? Well, I think, you know, we figured, uh, obviously, Morgan and, and uh, Langford, you know, and Jawan Morgan is a heck of a heck of a college basketball player. He, he competed, he willed in some shots, free throws. Um, so we wanted to try to take those guys away, and we did. Uh, and I've been telling our staff on film, you know, Fantasy has been as impressive as any guard I've seen. He's just, he's a poised, he's a tough kid. He ended up with it, and I thought we did a good job containing him. Same thing, follow up on, on Morgan. I mean, what makes him so tough to guard? Well, if he's hitting threes, he's a, he's a real problem. Uh, but you, we know how good he is inside. And, and uh, you know, he got he got a lot of work done in there as well. Uh, but with he's making free throws, you, you know, he had shot, he was 7 for 7 tonight. And then he stepped up and made threes when we were zoned in the corner. And uh, I think it was just his competitive will. You know, you love having guys like that, that have that about them. We have a few guys that step up, and two of them are sitting right here with me. They'll step up and hit big shots, no matter how the game's going. Kamar Baldwin hit a huge shot uh, down the stretch. So that's that's the beauty of this game. Uh, guys, uh, guys do that, and that's why that's why people talk about him as a good player in the class that he's in. Yeah, Lavelle, well, had you uh, thought of using Jordan Tucker anymore in the second half? Did you end up using him really? about as much as, as maybe you thought depending on how the game evolved the, just it was dependent on the game i thought he, i thought Tuck did a good job uh just kind of letting it come to him when he got in early not trying to do too much and he was really locked in on the defensive end and you know we, we struggled to stop him they shot 52 percent so he hasn't had the, the reps that these guys had defensively um, so that was i played a big part in the decision in the second half Uh, come on, I guess to ask uh, one of the same questions that Wall was asked about that last possession. I guess when you guys have him all the way out there and he's taking that shot, I mean, you feel pretty good about the de defensive possession you have to, to force him to make that thing. Uh, you said, you're asking, I guess, do you, you guys feel like the defensive possession with what you wanted basically in that last shot? When you're yeah, I would say so. Out. You probably wanted him to miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm what Coach said, but uh, I think we did a good job not letting the two main guys get it, but uh, he just knocked down the top of yeah, Sean, uh, maybe not fair to ask just in the few minutes after the game, but, but the um, feel like Bulldogs even in feet made, made progress in this game. I mean, you played, you know, 39 minutes and 59 seconds of the <coughs> tie game with number, number 25 team. Um, yeah, I think we played played pretty well as a team. We stayed locked in. Um, in the huddles, we were as connected as I think we've been all season. Um, guys were talking on the court, so... I thought overall we played a really good game and it came down to a final possession and the kid made a tough shot. Uh, one more about it. Uh, Butler had played pretty well on uh, defense in the games coming up to this. I guess you're, do you think you were able to maintain that or are you looking at you know, Indiana's uh, field goal percentage and feel like that you were deficient in that area because I know you, they all, you also created a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I think we, we you know, it was kind of the, uh, either I it was kind of the war. We either turned them over or they scored. Uh, and so, yeah, obviously, um, you know, Morgan's a load down there, so you got to make some decisions whether you're going to double team or not. Stuff that's only affected him some, and if he misses a couple of those threes that he made, you know, maybe, maybe there's a different outcome to it. And so, uh, we've got to type some things up, no question about it, but uh, the competitive will that our guys showed up thought was at a high, high level. 
take one or two more if there are some. Seeing none. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.